What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here from the beautiful Venice Beach, California. And today's transmission, today's topic is why your to-do list is killing you. I've come to realize that we as a culture, a Western culture, are overbooked, overextended, and we literally spend our time doing a bunch of small, stupid minutia. When I first really got started in the coaching and transformational world, I used to have these long to-do lists. Like legit, there would be like 40 things on my list. And I would be celebrating when I got all 40 done. But the interesting thing was, is as soon as that 40 was done, a whole nother hundred came after it. And so I found myself always overcommitted to things always tired, always having a thousand extra things to do. And I want to bring this up because we've become a society of to-do lists. And I read this book and the book changed my life. And he talked about having a success list. And I actually implemented that. About a year and a half ago, I decided to have a success list. And that success list was only two things tops for each day. So if you look in my phone right now, you'll find Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And on each of those days, there will only be two things that are the most important things to do for that day. The thing to understand, guys, about these to-do lists is when it's a success list, it's the one thing, one or two things that really change the game. It's the one or two things that really moves the needle for you. It's become easy to focus on minor things. We're spending major time on minor things. This is an issue because some of this stuff doesn't need your energy. You know, until you learn how to say no, you don't have a powerful yes. Until you learn how to truly say no, you're not leaving space for the thing that's truly burning on your heart. And left to our own devices, we will always go back to our default. An interesting thing about our society right now is it's set up in a way in which if you do not claim what it is that you want in this lifetime and go after it, design a life towards that, you will be doing that for somebody else. The thing to remember, we've become a society that has been taught to be busy. And those who experience themselves as successful, and no matter what it is, have learned to become productive. You see, just because you're not busy, doesn't mean you're available. This is a huge thing because so many people think, well, I have the time, and they're asking me. And this is really the birth of a people-pleasing nation where we're all trying to be polite and say yes to everything. And that yes is literally killing you. That to-do list and all those things you put on your list and all those yeses that you say are taking away from that which is truly burning on your heart. So if you say you want it, if you are deeply committed to that thing that is on your heart, then you gotta say no a lot more and change that to-do list to a success list. I hope that this video supported you in any way. I love each and every one of you. If you are new to the tribe, new to my vibe, new to the Love's Voice family, and this is your first time, I ask that you click subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Facebook or YouTube, share this message if it inspired you in any way. And please leave a comment as of one thing you are going to make or put on your success list. What's the one thing? What will move the needle? Because you know that there's something right now that you're afraid to do. So you do all the other busy work. You clean your closet, you scroll through Facebook, you do all the busy, stupid stuff and avoid the one thing that is truly the thing that will make the biggest difference. Impact. That's the name of the game. Let's get it.